From Cincinnati, Ohio, this is Big East Women's Soccer on FS1. Not even a little rain can put a damper on this one today. The two top teams in the Big East match up in a rematch of last year's Big East title game. It is Georgetown against Xavier. Thank you for joining us at Corcoran Field. Glad to have you along for the ride today. I'm Anthony Mazzini here alongside Monica Moore. These two teams still undefeated in conference play. They could be on pace to play again at the end of the season in the Big East tournament, but for right now, Monica, this is the biggest game of the regular season. A couple of teams on a four-match winning streak today, but a new test for South Carolina on the road for the first time this year to take on Cincinnati. Thank you for joining us inside Fifth Third Arena. So glad you're with us. I'm Anthony Mazzini alongside the former coaches, Stephanie Niemer at West Virginia, Melissa Lucky at Austin P. This one is all about offense versus defense. Cincinnati, a top 10 attack nationally, but Melissa, South Carolina, a nationally recognized block. Bulls not getting any action going. Harris has to fire, and it's good. At the buzzer, Tyler Harris gives the Bulls a four point lead. To the outside, one timer for Smith, and she has the equalizer from long range. What a strike to tie the game at one. Big time swing, Jaden Boss with a spike. Here comes Middleton, she's the hot hand for three. Yes! Middleton at the buzzer, a heave to end the third. Good punch by Wilson. White sides to end it, yes. We're going to five. Tapped around after the miss. Morris with the flush. Clear the runway, Jaquel Morris. We he to Dancer, her cross is knocked down. Right back to Dancer, she'll try. Auger taps it over the bar. And an early first look for Xavier takes Auger's best effort. Wired. What a play! Off the window, and one for Sophia Wired. 95 or more blocks each of the last three seasons, which has spanned her time at Oregon and now UCF. So she is a big time blocker. Another one there. A couple in a row for Abby Hansen. Well, Cincinnati has been on the road for a little while, most recently on Saturday against Houston, a tough loss for the Bearcats. They led by 11 with more than 11 minutes to go, but ended up losing in that game. Wes Miller said they just didn't get enough stops down the stretch, but they get a chance on the first offensive possession tonight. Nolly rises and connects. And we talked about what I just said here in the pregame before we started. They get Nolly into these scoring positions, one-on-one. -on -one. He's a three-level score. There you go with a floppy action off a of curl. And a, and a nice, easy shot starting early to get the Bearcats going. Pass deflected there. Nolly getting his hands in the passing lane. BB Knight backtracking for it. And a foul called against Landers Nolly. Well, even though Cincinnati has lost two games, and we're talking Memphis and Houston, who are at the upper echelon of the American Conference at the moment, what I'm seeing from the Cincinnati team is they're starting to get a little grittier on the defensive end. You see Nolly with another deflection being quick to the ball. That's what Coach Wes Miller talks about. They're the better team when they can get the ball first, up in the air or down on the ground. Richard makes his way into the basket and lays it in. Well, that's the one guy that Wes Miller said we can't let him get inside. And that's what they do best. Coach Miller goes back, and if you watch the Houston game against Cincinnati, defensively they didn't do a bad job, but later, within the game. They allowed a lot of dribble penetration from the guard play, which causes trouble. Nolly again, this time he's off the mark, and there is Sella Bungay. Conference's leading rebounder, more than nine per game, almost averaging a double-double. Griffin rises, and he's off the mark. He's the team's leading returning scorer from last year. Tulsa lost three of their top four. Griffin's the lone return man. Lockton on his knees, battling for it, comes away with it. Nolly has been the focal point offensively for the Bearcats, and he gets fouled there on his drive before the shot. And Tulsa led by Eric Conkel, his first season with Tulsa. He came over from Louisiana Tech. He replaces Frank Haith, who resigned after eight years. He's actually now on the Memphis coaching staff. And Conkel, his first year, he was with Louisiana Tech for seven years, third most wins in program history. I'm sure Coach Conkel understands, man, this American conference can be rough. But you've got to have a team and guys to buy into that grit. 
I like where he's taking his program. Wes Miller, his second season at Cincinnati, and we had a chance to ask Wes Miller about Eric Conkle before the game. He said, we know each other a little bit. We've recruited against each other at times. Wes Miller actually played against Eric Conkle when Conkle was an assistant at George Mason and Wes Miller was playing at James Madison. And he said he doesn't know him very well, but there's that mutual respect there, Kevin, of Wes Miller inherited Cincinnati a couple of years ago, and now Conkle starts to inherit a fellow team in the American. And, and both teams, you know, me being a part and able to play against Tulsa, they've always been a tough, gritty team. Not always the most talented and then have the highest rate of recruits, but the culture there is about physicality and knowing how to win games. I'm sure Eric Conkle knows a little bit about that. And, that's where he's working his magic to get this program back to. 0 for 2 at the line for Odi Iguama. An empty trip for the Bearcats. Shovel pass down low to Selabungay, but he misses off the block. And Mike Adams-Woods pushes, fo pushes forward. It's actually great execution there by Tulsa. You want to come up with a big win, those are the plays you got to finish. To Julius, lays it off inside, and Luckin has the flush. that guard to be a connection. The, the, the John Stockton, Carl Malone connection there. You know, Victor Lockett has been playing extremely well. I mean, all season, as you can tell, 62% field goal. We know he's getting a lot of dunks and layups, but not only that, he's completely finishing and dominating the boards on the defensive end. Off the mark for Josiah McWright, one of a couple of freshmen on this Tulsa team. He plays a lot for a freshman, but Tulsa again comes up empty. Julius probing the floater. Yes. Cincinnati starting to find its footing on the offensive end. A couple of makes in a row. Griffin leaps inside, draws contact, and he's going to the line. 